and a highlighter. Ready? Okay, so we're going to go about some problem solving today, okay? But before we look at the problem solving, I want to make sure that we really comprehend and understand what it is that we've read, okay? So a few weeks ago, actually right before Christmas mm -hmm. break, I believe, we started doing something in which we started identifying um, words that we may or may not understand, and we were going to highlight them, right? Do you remember when I had this on the board with a big question mark? And mm -hmm. around that, we put words and things that we, you don't have to write that down. I know. Okay. No. But, well, if you haven't, we're going to do that. So the first thing is, I'm going to put this question mark on the board. This is going to be for us okay. to put any oh, words that we think we may or may not know, the, know as, as well as we need them to, and we're going to work oh. on that. They don't have to necessarily be academic words for math. It could be just any word at all, okay? Because I find that when we read a word problem, a story. Sometimes we get so tripped up on a word that it keeps us from understanding what the rest of that story is going to be about. Okay? So I have it up here. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to read it. As I read it to you, I want you to highlight a word or words that you may not be familiar with. Got it? Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. you only need so here we go. So that world visit. The fourth grade teachers have asked for Bat World to visit our campus and bring live bats to learn about their adaptations. There are 144 students in the fourth grade. Bat World charges schools $250 for the first 50 students and then $3 for each additional student. So I'm not even going to look at the question right now. I'm going to reread our story one more time. Remember, you're highlighting words that you may not be familiar with. The fourth grade teachers have asked for Bat World to visit our campus and bring live bats to learn about their adaptations. There are 144 students in the fourth grade. Bat World charges schools $250 for the first 50 students and then $3 for each additional student. Okay, so I do see some of us have a little bit of highlighting. Who had something that you highlighted and we're going to talk about it? Who has something that you highlighted? Okay, John, what did you highlight? Additional. Additional. Did anybody else highlight or talk about the word additional? No, I never saw it. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and box this word additional. Uh oh, you didn't have it in the right spot. So additional. I know some of you are looking at the word additional. You see a root word inside that, don't you? Yes. Add. What is it? Right? So a teacher's favorite word no and add. for math, right? Yep. Olivia, what do you know about additional? Um, so I know that it means <clears throat> say if you have two pencils, you add um, three more, those are additional pencils. Okay. So she's saying I have two pencils and baby John gives you three more there are three additional pencils to the ones that you already had. So you started with something. And the ones that he gave you were the additional ones. He added them to your collection, right? What do you think, Georgia, about the word additional? What I think additional would mean would be, like, it's additional that you have um, five pieces of candy. You split it in half, but you have an additional amount of candy. Wouldn't you have, if you have this amount of candy and you split it in half, wouldn't you still have the same amount of candy, just two different stacks? Yes. True. So I'm going to kind of go with what Olivia said. Additional means it's more than what you were talking about, right? Because she was talking about pencils. She had two. John gave her three additional pencils. So does she have two pencils anymore? No. She has how many? Five. Five. So additional means, do y'all want to say you're adding to? Re it's kind of like regrouping, but not. Regrouping is when you're taking and you're moving I know. over. I know, but. You're bringing up, well, I guess you could say you're adding more to that group. Is that what you're meaning? Yeah. Okay, so in your journal, I want you to use your pencil. And I want us to, first of all, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to write additional. So what do y'all want to say is a good fourth grade word for how we would describe addition because this is what you're going to write in pencil above your story. Olivia? Adding on. So we want to say additional might mean to add on to what 
was already there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so add on to what is already there. So if you need to draw an arrow, because you don't have enough room to write all of this, that's fine. You can just draw a little arrow down that says that, kind of like a over here. Got it? You guys are not right. You got it. So additional, what you're saying is to add on maybe to what is already there. Okay? I think the word that really Hold on got just me. a moment. Just a moment because there's other people that are still working. Got it? Got it. Thumbs up when you are ready. Go ahead and highlight that if you have it. Okay, Georgia, you said there was another word here that you were just like, I have no clue, Mrs. Zealand. What one was it? Adaptation. Adaptations. I've learned a bit about adaptations in third grade with Miss Yarbrough. Okay, what do we know about adaptations? First of all, is it a math word? No, no it's more of a science word, right? Yeah. But guess what? If we don't understand what adaptations means, we might be like so stumped that we just can't move on with this story. What do we know about adaptations? You said you learned it last year with your teacher, and I'm going to have to go brag on you if you tell me correctly about adaptations. What do we know adaptations means, Georgia? They're, they're the changes in the body that to try and fit the location that the creature will live in. Okay, so they, they kind of have to change this to make them for survival, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to survive. Okay, I love it. Um, so how do we want to put that in a good fourth grade definition that's kind of short? Because I know you aren't feeling like writing that whole long thing. I am. Changing throughout Changing to survive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about that? Do you want to say changing to survive? Yes. Okay, so I'll write that over here. So change highlight to adaptation. To survive. Yes, you'll please highlight. Okay, so change to survive. The thing I Thumbs up once you have that. There is one more word that I want to include in this. And some of you may have had it, and some of you don't. That's okay. Oh, okay. The other word I want y'all to highlight is this word here, where it says that world and the word charges. Okay. Let's highlight charges, please. Yeah, I talked about you that one time. I we have that. talked about that. It says in the sentence that that world charges Talk schools two hundred fifty dollars for the first 50 students. What do you think that means? If we're gonna charge the school, what were they charging then? The, $250. $250. So what does this charging have to do with? Money. Uh, it has to do with the money that they're, that they're um, charging them. So, but we'll, no. so what would be another word then? The money that the school um, takes, 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 wait, got, got oh. That they have to, to have what? They have to pay for to keep the children in. Okay, so what do you want to say then charges means? What you have to... Pay. A payment? Pay. Payment. Payment? Okay. Additional payment. So is it an additional no. payment? No. No? All right, so let's put the word charge or charges, and you can just say pay, pay or payment. Which one? Payment. Payment. Charge. Okay. Okay. So payment... So they have to pay $250, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We good? Yes. So let's look now that we know what our words mean. I'm going to reread it again. Fourth grade teachers have asked for Bat World to visit our campus and bring live bats to learn about their adaptations, the way animals have to change to survive. There are 144 students in the fourth grade. Yeah. That world makes the school pay $250 for the first 50 students, and then $3 for each extra student. Now, do you see how that helps us understand it a little bit better? I read it with our definitions, right? So here's the first thing that we're gonna do. It says to determine the total amount of money that that world will charge our school to visit. 
that word determine. What do you think that's just a fancy word for? Solve? Find out? Figure out? Work? Right? So we're going to determine that. So let's talk about some stuff. You just said determine. We are. So let's talk about some things now. With your pencil, we're going to go back into our story and we're going to talk about some important information. Okay? Well, what was one thing that you think is very important in this story? Who is this story about? The Bat, bat World. Is it really about Bat World? No, it's about the students going to Bat World. Or the school, right? Taking students, right? So what's some important information? What's one thing that you notice? What's one thing that's important, Brody? I think that... What's something that you notice? Oh, that... There are 144 students in the fourth grade. Perfect. So, I want us to not only box 144, hands down, you should be doing this. I want us to include the noun with that number. So we know there are 144 students. Okay? Guess what? You boxed it. It's important. So guess what I want you to do? I want you to write that down below, that there are... 144 students. Since we're having to figure out how much the school is having to pay, do we need to know about the number of students that are going? Or that are, that, that are here? Do we need to know about the number of students to figure out how much is going to be paid? Yes, we do. Okay, so we know there's 144 students. Now, what's something else that we know? Something else that we know. Olivia. Uh, I saw a code on your bike. Three dollars uh, each. Additional students. So, three dollars for each additional student. That also jumped out at me, the word additional. Right? So, I want you to box it so we know that it is three dollars for, in that word, each extra student. Right? extra student. Go ahead and write that down. Important information. Is there anything else that's important? Because remember, we are going to determine the total amount of money, how much it's going to cost for the school to have Batworld to come visit. John? Oh, 250 for the first 50 students. So $250 for the first 50 students. So $250 for the first 50 students. Thumbs up when you have that.